Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. In the book of Joshua, we read about the Israelites winning this amazing victory uh, over Jericho. They captured this city, this city that seemed impossible to be captured. The walls appeared to be impregnable. In fact, we're told that the walls of Jericho were so wide that chariots used to race each other around the tops of the walls. Now, I've been on city walls like that. Uh, some years ago, Janice and I were ministering in China and we went to the city of Xi'an, which is where the terracotta warriors are. And uh, we went to, around the old city walls and we rented a tandem, a bicycle for two people, and we rode it around the top of the walls. And, uh, you, know, you know, when you look at walls like that, I mean, you're talking about something wider than a road. The idea of being able to knock them down seems almost impossible. And yet, of course, God did it. And the Israelites were able to capture Jericho uh, without the great loss of life that they would have expected. And then in Joshua chapter 7, we're told about the next city that they had to conquer. And that was the city of Ai. And when they arrived at this place, they, the spies said, you know what, it's lightly defended. I mean, it's not got great fortifications. They're not great fighters. It's, it's, we, we should be able to conquer this no problem. So we don't need to send the whole army there. Just two or three thousand men uh, should be sufficient. And we should be able to conquer the city quite easily in that way. And so they went out to conquer Ai and they were defeated. They ran in panic and 36 of the Israelites were, were killed that day. The people began to cry and to complain and everything else. And it turned out that the problem was not to do with the fortifications or the enemy that they faced. The problem was within because there was sin in the camp. There was a man named Achan. You see, Joshua had said that when they captured Jericho, all of the gold and the silver and the plunder and everything else had to be devoted unto the Lord. And yet Achan took some gold, he took some silver, he took a fine-looking Babylonian garment and he buried them in the ground underneath his tent because he coveted them, he lusted after the wealth that they represented. And this hidden sin in Israel's camp caused their defeat. God exposed that sin. God dealt with that sin. Achan paid for his covetousness with his life. And then the next time the Israelites went to conquer Ai, uh, they did it no problem. There was no, there was no difficulty because now the hidden sin had been removed. You know, sometimes we can... Uh, we can make all kinds of precautions to protect ourselves against others and then let ourselves down. Going back to thinking of China, one of the places that every visitor to China will visit is the Great Wall of China. This wall that stretched so far around, you can, you can actually see it, they say, from space. And yet, there were several times whenever China was defeated by, by the Mongols and by other groups, and you know how they were defeated? They didn't have to batter down the wall. They bribed the gatekeepers to open the doors and open the gates and let them through. China had been busy building this great wall whenever they should have taught character and integrity to their children. And that's still true today. You know, sometimes we get all bent out of shape about the devil's trying to do this, the devil's trying to do that. But the greatest weakness that would trouble us in our lives is within. It's ourselves. Whenever we disobey God and whenever we allow hidden sin to flourish in our hearts. And I would encourage you today, if you want to see God moving on your behalf, if you want to see God moving on behalf of your family, I'd encourage you to come before the Lord and say, Oh Lord, search my heart and try me today and see if there be any hidden sin within me. Don't be like Achan. Don't be the one that weakens a move of God, but say, Lord, I'm going to serve you today and I'm going to do it with a whole heart and I'm not going to allow hidden sin to have a place in my life. 
Join us again uh, tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.